Hi, my name is Instructor Tivon, and I'm here today to show you how to execute this game. First, we're going to show you how to set up the game, then we're going to show you how to properly run the game, and finally, we're going to go over some safety aspects to make sure that this game is the best for your students. This game is called Mission Impossible Relays. This is another version of Mission Impossible, and if you do not know how to play that game, please reference that video for more information. To set up for Mission Impossible Relay, you want to have the exact same obstacle for both lines. So I have uh, noodles and shields and pads, anything that they can put their feet on to get to the other side. Um, I also have two cones at the end to indicate that they made it. Um, and then you also want to indicate where the designated areas to where they're going to go when they are done. Um, also two cones at the beginning to separate the two different lines as well. To play Mission Impossible Relay is you're going to have two separate teams or as many teams as you need for the amount of kids and the objective is to get across from one dojon to the other without touching the ground. Now if they do make it all the way across, if they're on the mirror side, the mirror side line is going to sit on the mirror side so that anybody else that is trying to get across doesn't hit anybody when they're done. Um, as well as the wall side, if they make it through the wall side line, then they're going to sit on the wall side. Now, if anybody touches the ground as they're going through the relay, then they're going to start over instead of the whole team finishing. Um, and then I'll indicate when, if somebody passes the noodles, then the next person can go. Or if they make it fast the first shield, then they can just go automatically. That's your art to decide when the next person can go. So the winner is whichever team, that whichever team makes it all the way back to um, the finishing line first. Okay, so ready? You're going to go all go right away. Just write it one, af one after another. Ready? Get set. Go. What? Did you touch the... Oh, there you go. There you go. If you move this stuff, put it back, okay? Oh. There we go, Annabelle. Nice. Nice. Oh, Taylor. Good job. There you go. Sit on the wall side. The safety aspects for this game is to make sure that you are in the middle to be able to monitor the kids stepping on everything, especially the wave masters, if they're going to be on it, you want to monitor how they're going to be on it so that if they fall, then you're there for them um, if they do fall. Also, there's no jumping onto the material just in case that they slip and fall, so there's no sliding and diving, especially no screaming so that they know um, what they're doing and they, they can hear everybody else in their team. These are some final tips on how to run this game. Remember, safety is our number one priority. Also, a great way to get that energy up to, and to get the kids smiling is to use your music and to have the best M4548 that you can. Also, make sure that you're having fun with the kids and play the game with them. If you have any questions, please turn to your operations manager and they can answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a great time running this game.